Hockey dokey, roll em. This is called elevator cards. Um, if you look, we have just any four face cards and the ace through four of diamonds. Uh, ace to four and face cards. Uh, we'll leave the face cards down over there and we'll count these backwards. So that's the four, the three, the two, and the ace is going to go right on top. So because the ace is the first card, it goes in the first spot. And this is called elevator cards because when you square this up, and you push the button in the middle, the elevator rises up, and the ace comes to the top. Here, we'll do that again with the two. It goes in the second spot. If you square it up, you push the button, the two jumps up to the top. So yeah, this uses just the four face cards, and now we'll do it with the three, which is infinitely harder. It goes in the third spot, and when you push the button, it takes a little longer, but it eventually comes to the top. Uh, just these four cards, nothing else. One, two, three, four. The fourth one has to come all the way up from the basement and takes a little while. But then it eventually gets there. This is the explanation for the elevator cards. Uh, you really just use four face cards from a deck. I used all black ones. And you want two of them to be a matching pair, so in this case, the kings. Um, we also have just an ace to four of any suit you like. I just use contrasting colors for clarity. Uh, these go in your hand face up, and you want this to go in the order four, three, two, ace on top. Okay. Now what you're going to do is get a break and steal this king with these cards secretly. So just as you close this up, get a little pinky break, pick these up, and because this is a matching pair, they shouldn't notice that you stole a king right here, and just turn these face down to the table. Now when you flip these over, you're going to count them back into your left hand, one at a time off the top, four, three, two, ace. Now this is actually a double card, and you're just going to hold on to it. Drop these ones, it should be a four, three, and a two, but really, you have your king there. And this supposed ace, which is really your double card, goes on top of your face cards. Now this is good because you have five cards, which is what you should have if you added just an ace to supposedly the face cards. If you take what you called the ace, but is really the two, and put it in the first spot like this, it brings the ace that you set there to the top. Square this up. And here you'd want to talk about elevators, push the button, whatever you like and the ace is supposedly jumped up through one card. Now immediately, you can do this again with the two, because it's left on top. Just take what's supposedly the two, because you counted them back, it's really the three, put it in the second spot, and do the same thing, where you square it up, pretend to push, push the button, and the two is supposedly jumped up two cards, and you're left like this. Now because the three's here, you want to bring it to the top. What you're going to do is turn it face up, and do an Elms account with these, and it'll actually show just face cards and bring the three right to the top. Now supposedly the three goes in the third spot, and when you square it up and push the button again, it has jumped to the top, and you have your four loaded in there. Now this last one's a bit more difficult. You're going to do a face down Elms account, and this will actually just bring the four to the bottom of your packet, then count them back one at a time, bringing it to the top. And all you have to do now is drop what's the face cards on top of the supposed four. It's really that king we stole earlier. Push the button, the four jumps to the top, and you're left clean.